Om Shanti. Today is Tuesday, the 13th of August, 2024. On this Tuesday morning, let us listen to the Sakar Murli from our beloved Bab Dada, Bab Dada Madhuban. Essence. Sweet children, do the service of purifying the elements with yoga, because it is only when the elements have become pure that the deities will set foot in this world. So let us hear the essence once again on this Tuesday morning. Baba says, "Sweet children, do the service of purifying the elements with yoga, because it is only when the elements have become pure that the deities will set foot in this world. So the deities can set foot in this world only when the service of purifying the elements with our yoga has been done by us." Today's question: Why can't there be any type of peacelessness in your new kingdom? For this, Baba gives us two answers. The first one: Because you will have received that kingdom as inheritance from the Father. Second reason: The Father, the bestower of blessings, gives you blessings and the inheritance at this time, and for this reason, there cannot be peacelessness there. when you belong to the father you claim your whole inheritance therefore baba gives us two reasons as to why there cannot be any peacelessness in our new kingdom firstly baba says because we would have received that kingdom as inheritance from the father and secondly the father the bestower of blessings gives us blessings and the inheritance at this time and for this reason there cannot be peacelessness there Baba says when you belong to the father you claim your whole inheritance om shanti baba says you children know whose children you are so baba says you children know whose children you are he is called the true lord and master this is why nowadays you children are also called the children of the lord and master there is a saying about the truth eat that which is real and wear that which is real so what is the saying about the truth eat that which is real and wear that which is real baba says although this saying has been created by human beings the father sits here and explains the meaning of it you children know that the father is the highest on high the one who is praised a great deal and who is also called the creator his first creation is you children you are the children of that father so baba says you children know that the father is the highest on high the one who is praised a great deal and who is also called the creator so what is his first creation his first creation is you children you are the children of that father all souls reside with the father that is called the father's home the sweet home this is not your home baba says you children know that he is our sweetest father the land of peace is our sweet home and then the golden age is also called our sweet home because there is peace in every home there so why is the land of peace our sweet home and the golden age is also called our sweet home because there is peace in every home there here there is peacelessness in the home of physical mothers and fathers and peacelessness in the world there there is peace in their homes as well as throughout the world baba says the golden age is called a small new world this old world is so huge there is peace and happiness in the golden age there is no question of chaos there because you will have received your inheritance of peace from the unlimited father so there is no question of chaos there because you will have received your inheritance of peace from the unlimited father gurus and holy men give blessings may you have sons may you have a long life those blessings that they give are not new you automatically receive those as your inheritance from the father so what is baba making it clear that there is no question of 
chaos there because you will have received your inheritance of peace from the unlimited father. Baba says, gurus and holy men, they give blessings. What blessings do they give? May you have sons, may you have a long life. Baba says those blessings that they give are not new because you automatically receive those as your inheritance from the father. The father has now reminded you children of this. That Parlokic father is the one whom people of all religions remember on the path of devotion when it is a world of sorrow. So, that Parlokic father is the one whom people of all religions remember on the path of devotion when it is a world of sorrow. This world is old and impure. In the new world, there is happiness. There is no trace of peacelessness. You children now have to become pure and virtuous. Otherwise, you will have to experience a great deal of punishment. Baba says Dharamraj, the one who enables you to settle all your karmic accounts, is also with the father. There will be the tribunal. There will definitely be punishment for sins. Those who make good efforts will not experience punishment. Deities are pure. The father now comes and makes you pure like them again. He keeps your aim and objective in front of you. A sculptor is straight away able to create a sculpture of a human being by looking at his face. So what does a sculpture do? A sculptor is straight away able to create a sculpture of a human being by looking at his face. Those are non-living statues, but it is as though that person is sitting in front of them in the living room. Here the father says to you, you have to become living Lakshmis and Narayans. How will you become those? How will we become living Lakshmis and Narayans? You will become deities from human beings by studying this and with purity. So what are the two things? By studying this knowledge and with purity, we will become Lakshmis and Narayans. This is a school to change from humans to deities. Those sculptors create many sculptures. That is called art. They create identical faces. Here, there is no question of identical faces. Those are non-living images, whereas you will become those naturally in living forms there. So, Baba is telling us the difference between a non-living sculpture and a living deity. Baba continues by saying, the bodies of the five elements will be alive. Those non-living images have been created by human beings. They cannot be identical to the deities because no photographs can be taken of deities. So, Baba says, non-living images have been created by human beings. They cannot be identical to the deities because no photographs can be taken of the deities. Although they have a vision of them in trance, they cannot take their photograph. They would say that they had visions of them but they themselves are not able to create that image, nor can anyone else. You yourselves can only become like that after you finish taking this knowledge from the Father. So what has Baba clarified today? That although they have a vision in a trance, no one can take a photograph of a deity. So they would say that they had visions of them, but they themselves are not able to create that image, nor can anyone else. You yourselves can only become like that, meaning like a deity, after you finish taking this knowledge from the Father. Only then will you become identical to what you were in the previous cycle. So, Baba says this is such a wonderful, natural drama. The Father sits here and explains to you the wonderful things of nature. Human beings don't even think about these matters. They go in front of the deity idols and bow their heads. Although they understand that they used to rule that kingdom, they do not know when. They don't know anything about when they will come again or what they will do when they come. You know that those who belong to the sun and moon dynasties have been and gone. So what do we know? Those who belonged to the sun and moon dynasties have been and gone. They will become exactly the same again by studying this knowledge. This is a wonder. Therefore, the father now explains, by making such effort, you will become the same deities again. You will carry on with the same activity that you did previously in the golden and silver ages. 
So Baba says by making such effort, you will become the same deities again and you will carry on with the same activity that you did previously in the golden and silver ages. This is such a wonderful knowledge. This knowledge can only remain in your intellects when there is cleanliness in your hearts. These aspects cannot remain in anyone else's intellect. You need to make effort for this. You cannot receive the fruit without making the effort. The Father continues to inspire you to make effort. Even though everything happens according to the drama, you still have to make effort. So, what is Baba clarifying and telling us? The Father continues to inspire you to make effort. And even though everything happens according to the drama, you still have to make effort. Meaning, we cannot sit back and relax and say that since everything is happening according to the drama, I won't make any effort from my side. Baba says, you must not just sit down and think. If it is in the drama, I will be able to make effort. There are many who have such crazy thoughts as, there will surely be effort if it is in my fortune. Oh, but it is you who have to make the effort. So, Baba clarifies, it is you who have to make the effort. There is the effort and then the reward. Human beings ask, which is greater, the effort or the reward? So, human beings ask, which is greater, the effort or the reward? Reward is greater, but effort is said to be greater because it is through that that your reward is created. So, effort is greater than reward because it is through effort that the reward is created. It is only by making effort that every human being receives everything. There are some who have such stone intellects that they give this a wrong meaning. It is understood that this is not in their fortune. They fall apart. Here, you children are inspired to make so much effort. You are given explanations day and night. You definitely have to reform your character. The number one character is to be pure. Deities are pure anyway. It is when they fall in their characters, it is when they fall that their characters are spoilt and they become completely impure. You now understand that your characters were A1 then you fell completely. Everything depends on purity. It is in this that there is great difficulty. So, we now understand that our characters were A1. Then we fell completely. Everything depends on purity and it is in this that there is great difficulty. Baba says, people's eyes deceive them a great deal because this is the kingdom of Ravan. There, meaning in Satyu, your eyes do not deceive you. Each of you receives a third eye of knowledge. This is why it is said, religion is might. The almighty authority father comes and establishes this deity religion. It is souls that do everything, but they do it through human forms. That father is the ocean of knowledge. His praise is totally separate from the praise of the deities. So, Baba has clarified that his praise is totally different from the praise of the deities. So, why would you not remember such a father? He is called the knowledgeful one, the seed. Why is he called the truth, the sentient being and the embodiment of bliss? So, Baba answers, the seed of the tree is aware of the tree emerging from him. But those seeds are non-sentient. It is as though the souls in those are non-conscious, whereas the souls of human beings are conscious. So, this is the difference between a seed and a soul of a human being. A living soul can also be called an ocean of knowledge. The tree grows from small to large, so there definitely is a soul, but it is unable to speak. So Baba is clarifying the difference between a seed and a living soul. There is so much praise of the supreme soul. He is the ocean of knowledge. This praise does not belong to souls. This praise is only sung of the supreme soul. He is the ocean of knowledge. This praise does not belong to souls. This praise, Baba repeats, is only sung of the Supreme Soul. He is called Ishwar etc. His true name is the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul. Param means Supreme. That's why we call him Param Atma. The praise people sing of him is very powerful. Now, day by day, his praise is decreasing. Because their intellects were Sato at first, then they became Rajo, and now they have become Tamo Pradhan. The father comes and explains all of these things. 
I come every 5,000 years to make the old world new. It is remembered that the golden age is the truth and that whatever happens there is the truth, which is written in the Granth Sahib, the holy book of the Sikhs. What is written? It is remembered that the golden age is the truth and that whatever happens there is the truth. Some write good versions because they are not so impure. Those who come later are not so impure. Baba says the people of Bharat were completely Satopradhan and they are the ones who have become the most Tamopradhan at the end of their many births. This cannot be said about the founders of religions. So, Baba says the people of Bharat were completely Satopradhan and they are the ones who have become the most Tamopradhan at the end of their many births. This cannot be said about the founders of religions. Neither do they become as Satopradhan nor do they become as Tamopradhan. They neither experience as much happiness nor as much sorrow. So this we are talking about the founders of the various religions. Whose intellects have become the most Tamopradhan? Baba asks. Out of all the religions, it is those who were at first deities who have fallen the most. People sing praise of Bharat because it is very ancient. If you think about it, the Bharat of this time has fallen a great deal. The rise and fall of Bharat is the rise and fall of the deities. You have to use your intellects to understand this. What should we understand? The essence of the whole line of today's Murli is the rise and fall of Bharat is the rise and fall of the deities. We experienced a great deal of happiness when we were Satopradhan. Then we also experience as much sorrow because we are Tamopradhan. There are four main religions. Baba clarifies deityism, Islam, Buddhism and Christianity. So what are the four religions? Deityism, Islam, Buddhism and Christianity. Expansion has taken place through them. The people of Bharat do not know which religion they belong to. Because of not knowing their religion, they leave their religion. In fact, their religion is the main one but they have forgotten it. Those who are wise and sensible understand that those people have no honesty in their religion. Otherwise, what was Bharat before and what has it now become? The father sits here and asks you, Children, what were you? He sits here and explains the whole history. You were deities. You ruled for half a cycle and then after half a cycle, your actions and your religion became corrupt in the kingdom of Ravan. You are now once again becoming those who will belong to the deity community. God speaks. Only to you children does the father explain every cycle and enable you to belong to God's community. Acha. So what does God speak again? Only to you children does the father explain every cycle and enable you to belong to God's community. Acha. To the sweetest, beloved, long lost and now found children, love, remembrance and good morning from the mother, the father, Bap Dada. The spiritual father says Namaste to you spiritual children and we the spiritual children also say Namaste to our spiritual father. Today's essence for dharna has two points. The first point, with cleanliness in your heart, inculcate the father's wonderful knowledge into your life. Create an elevated reward by making effort. Don't just say drama and stop making effort. Second point, in order to be saved from being deceived by your criminal eyes in the kingdom of Ravan, practice looking with your third eye of knowledge. Imbibe purity, which is the number one character. Let's hear the wonderful essence for Dharna once again today. First point is, with cleanliness in your heart, inculcate the father's wonderful knowledge into your life. Baba says, Create an elevated reward by making effort. Don't just say drama and stop making effort. Second point, in order to be saved from being deceived by your criminal eyes in the kingdom of Ravan, practice looking with your third eye of knowledge. Imbibe purity which is the number one character. Today's blessing, may you be greatly fortunate and remain constantly happy by knowing the horoscope of your Brahmin life. Blessing once again. May you be greatly fortunate and remain constantly happy by knowing the horoscope of your Brahmin life. Baba explains, your Brahmin life is a new life. 
in the beginning you brahmins were deities and you are now bk's in the horoscope of brahmins all three aspects of time are the best of all whatever happened was good whatever is happening is good and whatever is to happen will be very very good the horoscope of your brahmin life is constantly good this is guaranteed so constantly maintain the happiness that the father the bestower of fortune himself has drawn your line of elevated fortune and made you belong to him finally the slogan for today in order to experience a constant and stable stage take the sweetness of having all relationships with the one father slogan once again in order to experience a constant and stable stage take the sweetness of having all relationships with the one father acha om shanti